Hello, hello, welcome in wherever you may be uh, tuning in from. Uh, it is 11.30 p.m. where I am right now, and I felt the urgency to get out of bed and make a video on letting somebody know how to give their life to the Lord. Um, we used to hear this all the time. We used to hear altar calls all the time. We used to hear people um, just sharing the good news and wanting to help pull people out of darkness. But now it has become about church services and things like that. But I've come tonight to tell you that Jesus loves you so much so that he told me to get up out of my bed and come and make a video so that you can come and meet with him tonight or today or wherever, whatever time it may be for you. But I just want to let you know that he loves you so much. God loves you so, so, so much that he truly gave his only begotten son for you. That if you believe in him, you shall not perish, but you shall have everlasting life. And so tonight, I see you feeling hopeless, feeling helpless, feeling like you've tried everything and you feel like you've come to your wit's end. But I hear the Lord saying tonight, is your night of salvation today is your day of salvation and he wants to open you and embrace you with open arms he cares for you and he has called you and he has a purpose for you and he wants to father you and the Bible says that the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is salvation and eternal life. And I want you to know that salvation is free for you. It's a heart change. It's not just a prayer that we pray, oh God, I accept you as, you know, I accept Jesus as my Lord and Savior. It's a heart shift, a heart posture change. And it is a, a, a action of offering up your heart, offering up your life, saying, God, I give you my life in exchange for your salvation. I give you my life. I let go of my old ways and I want to walk into the new. As you give your life to the Lord, you become a new creature. You become a new creation. I don't care what the yesterday, um, what happened yesterday. I don't care what happened a moment before, but in this moment, you are becoming new. You are becoming new as you change your heart posture, as God supernaturally changes your heart posture. Joy is about to fill your heart. Hope is about to fill your heart. Love is about to hit your life. And if you are new to even trying to figure out who Jesus is, I'm praying in tongues, which is my which is a gift of the Holy Spirit. He prays through us. So even if we don't know the words to pray, he will pray through us. He equips us with everything that we need for this life. And this is a benefit of accepting him, of receiving him. We are saved by grace. We are saved by faith. And so I just want to share this scripture with you. John 14 Verse six says, Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Jesus is the only way to God. He is the only way. He is the only way. And so therefore, as you receive him, you have access to the Father direct line of communication and you don't have to go to other people oh 
oh, what is God saying to me? What is God saying? You have the Bible and his Holy Spirit will come in to speak to you, to help you, to lead you, to guide you. Mm. You will be adopted as his own as you accept the free gift of salvation. We bless you, God. We bless you. I just want to pray for you. I just want to pray for you. I feel like this is going to be such an intimate moment. I don't even know if I'm going to say repeat after me. I don't know. I don't know. I just got up out of bed. He told me to come on here and, and, and speak this to you directly. So, Father, I thank you for the person who is under the sound of my voice, searching and seeking salvation searching and seeking how to come to you father we thank you for the free gift of salvation through jesus christ god i pray that this person under the sound of my voice will accept you as their lord and savior i pray that the glory of god would rush into wherever they are right now that this will be an intimate moment, an intimate moment, an intimate moment. One that will change their lives forever. Yes, they may have seen what it was to do church. Yes, they may have seen what uh, uh, Christians have done that they may have not um thought it was the best or they felt like they were treating each other wrong god i pray that you would wipe those things away and present to them the true gospel the true and living god tonight god i pray that you will restore their faith even now to accept you i pray god that they may be tired of running but tonight is your night of salvation. This moment right now is your time of salvation. God wants your heart and he freely, freely is calling you now. Holy Spirit, I pray that every chain every fetter, every cycle, God, that has been keeping your child down, I pray that they would exchange all of that for your goodness, for your grace, for your salvation tonight. Now, I know that people may be like, why pray in tongues for somebody with, when, with somebody who doesn't understand or who doesn't believe? But I'm going to, I, I just feel it. I just feel it right here. Just come, trying to come up. So I'm just going to pray in my heavenly language for a bit. And I believe that God is going to visit you where you are. Le mando robo koshete araba shakotorion de la monde de asata. Rika shando robo koshete le le mando robo koshata. God's spirit can do more than explanation sometimes. His presence and his spirit can move in a moment beyond comprehension.
This is a moment between you and Jesus Christ. Your heart will cry out as you yield. Everything that you want to say and need to say will come out. Jesus, I accept you as my Lord and Savior. Jesus, I surrender my life. Jesus, I choose to lay down my old self for a new, uh, for your newness. The Bible says, behold, old things have passed away. All things have passed away and everything becomes new. God loves you so much. He loves you. He loves you. He loves you. He loves you so much. Even those who have turned their back and are backslidden and you're under the sound of my voice, he says, come home. Today is a new day. Today is a new day. Today is a new day. A new day of learning. A new day of learning. A new day of being able to unlearn some things and to be able to be taught and led by the scriptures. Let there be a fresh fire and a fresh zeal over your child tonight, God. I just see many of you just weeping even now. I just see somebody in their bed right now on their pillow just weeping. Our tears speak as well. Our tears, our prayers as well. They cry out as well. God sees all of your tears. And your life is changing for the better. He is here for you tonight. Jesus, wrap them in your arms tonight. Wrap them in your arms. Wrap them in your arms. Wrap them in your arms. And let there be a refreshing, a refreshing, a refreshing, a refreshing, a refreshing, a fresh zeal, a fresh passion, newness, oneness, holiness, righteousness. Rika na 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 masha. Say, Father, I accept your free gift of salvation because of the work that Jesus has done on the cross. I accept Jesus as my Lord and my Savior. And I won't look back. Empower me through the Holy Ghost to live a life that is pleasing unto you. And help me to see you as you rightfully are. Not from the lenses of religion. Not from the lenses of false doctrine. But, uh, but true and living God, I want to know you for real. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. If you have accepted Jesus Christ, I want you to email me at prayer at Christina Calhoun dot com. Prayer at Christina Calhoun dot com. I would love to um, talk with you more. Uh, this walk is deeply personal but never individual he wants us to connect with people and partner with people to help sharpen each other so that we can learn together and so that we can grow in him so that we can know the scriptures and i would love 
to assist you in your walk in whatever way necessary, not as like um, a, a covering or anything like that, but as a sister in Christ, as somebody who just loves the Lord and uh, want you to get to know him for yourself through his word and through his Holy Spirit. So again, God got me up this late hour of the night just for you so you can know how much he loves you and so that you can know that salvation is available for you. Accept the call today. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God bless you. And I hope to hear from you soon in my emails so that we can connect further. Um, just to get you going with some scriptures, I believe God will can do the work all on his own in your life. But as I stated, it's deeply personal, but never individual. We will sharpen each other and we can get you plugged in um, to just... Uh, a ministry that may be close to you or uh, whatever the case may be, we will seek the Lord together and ask him what is the next steps for you. All right. Well, I love you all. God bless you until I see you again, which I thought was going to be next Friday. But whenever I see you again to pray for you, um, that is when it will be whenever God tell me to get on here. But all right. I will talk to you soon.